What's going on guys? Today we're coming at you with an unboxing of an industry game changer. Thank you to this one eBay seller that happened to have this thing in stock. It's back ordered everywhere we look and uh, I'll put a few places in the description where you guys can pick this thing up. But first let's tell you about this. It's the brand new Shimano SLX DC. Let's get right into the unboxing. So the Shimano SLX DC. Ah, there we go. That's better. Let's open this thing up. eBay packaging is no joke. Let's see what we got. Oh, I wonder if this is even the right reel. Sticker from the eBay seller. Download our app, sweet. Total was 195.34 for this reel. It was no tax and $5.35 shipping. SLX DC, but this isn't even just the plain SLX DC. There's different gear ratios, and this is the 151 XG. Uh, 150 or 151 represents the spool size. We have a couple other DC Shimano reels that range from a 100 to a 200 spool size, meaning they can hold a little bit less or a little bit more line based on what you might think you need. I think if you're pond hopping, a 100 spool size is just fine. 150 is more than enough, and uh, you might get maybe some light or weight out of those smaller profile reels that have that less line capacity. Either way, let's get into this one. This is the 151, which means left-handed. The 150 would be right-handed, and it is the XG, meaning extra high gear. Like I say, there's a couple different gear ratios you can get this reel in. This one is gonna bring in the most amount of line for every full turn of the handle because it has that higher gear ratio. Let's see what's inside the box. User manual. Looks confusing. You got your oil to keep this thing lubed up and good to go, casting wise, etc. And really, that's all that's in the box is going to be your manual, your oil, and then you have the reel itself. Now, I'm just, I'm just curious. Y'all hear that? Well, we went left-handed this time. I wanted to try something different. I haven't thrown many left-handed reels lately, and I'm pretty excited about it. The finish is pretty sweet. It's matte black. I can tell it's going to get dinged up pretty easily, but what reel isn't when you're throwing it around as much as we are? This is the 8.2, 8 2 to 1 gear ratio, so it's pretty much a monster when it comes to how much line it can bring in per full turn of the handle. I wonder if that's in here. Oh my gosh, this is a yeah, 6 3 to 1 if you get the standard, and then it's going to be a 7 2 to 1 if you get the HG, and then an 8 2 to 1 if you get the XG, and that is that. So pretty stoked on this reel. Why it is considered an industry game changer, people are calling it, is because it is now the cheapest, most affordable DC brake Shimano reel on the market. So that is digital chip or digitally controlled uh, braking system. So like, let's say you wanna throw a light bait into the wind, you know how challenging that can be with your bait casters unless you really get them dialed in. Well, with the DC braking, it actually controls how much line comes off that spool and how much braking is applied based on the conditions that it's reading like a thousand times a second or some odd thousands a second. It's, it's, it's a lot. And it's more than you can do with your thumb, essentially, is what they're saying. So you shouldn't have to break with your thumb if you've got this thing on the right brake settings. Now there's a one, two, three, and four on this reel. So your brake settings are one through four. I'm assuming if it's like my other DC reels, I'll probably leave it on two the majority of the time. I may have it on three. I'll probably never use it on four. And one with the DC reels, um, I don't know. I just tend to get good distance with that number two brake on all my other DC reels. So I'll probably just, like I say, leave it on two. You can get good distance, yet the braking is applied perfectly in almost every case. You can get these reels dialed to where you really don't even have to adjust the braking between different lure sizes because it is continuously adjusting the brakes as you cast. And that noise it makes, that is actually it recharging the system. So with every cast, you're not like wearing down the batteries on this thing. You're actually uh, juicing it up to go for the next cast. So. How I like to dial mine in, there's that tension knob right here, is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna loosen or tighten that up to where your bait just drops at a slow speed whenever you click that spool open, and that is gonna be about as much as you'll dial in really the tension, but the brakes, I say, leave it on two. So you should be good to go for almost all scenarios. And uh, for us, the DC braking is mainly for the sound, uh, let's be honest, you know, like the performance is great. Yes, it works very well for casting light baits straight into the wind. But the thing is, 
how often is that gonna happen versus when you just throw your standard issue baits that have a decent size weight and you could cast those things great with almost any bait caster once you get them dialed in regardless, right? So for us, a lot of it is the sound. It's just, it's just a lot of fun fishing with the sound. I enjoy it, a lot of people love it or hate it. So if you're the type of person who loves it, you're gonna pay the extra couple bucks to get this reel with the DC braking system. And it's, it's, it is actually going to help. Like, let's be real, if someone doesn't know how to use a bait caster, you're better off handing them your DC brake bait caster than your magnetically controlled or your centrifugal, centrifugal, centrifugal. You're better off handing them the DC brake than any of those uh, other types of reels, my opinion, because it is gonna have that assistance built in. They're not gonna have to really thumb it to slow it down. And so we'll give you guys some real world examples of that coming up very soon, because of course we're gonna showcase this reel. I plan on using this thing uh, almost more than any of my others here in the next couple videos, because of course I'm excited to own it. So this is the announcement the SLX DC is now here on the channel left-handed unlike almost every one of our other reels and we're gonna have a bunch of fun with it and that's that sweet matte black and blue color scheme we're gonna toss this on a rod and reel and get to fishing with it I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and we are going to catch y'all on the first impressions and full review of this reel coming very soon stay tuned and don't forget to hit the notifications bell so you get notified when those videos drop otherwise uh, you won't get notified and you'll probably miss it and you won't see it and there uh, goes the review so Okay, so let me tell you all the deal. Actually, we ain't closing it out just yet. A storm is like incoming, and uh, I felt like we should maybe do a little test and first impressions of this bad boy. So let's just pile it on in one video. I'm gonna try and fish for a few minutes at a spot I just fished yesterday and had no luck at, which is fine. And uh, today's a new day. I think the weather might bring the bite. I'm gonna try and just snag one or two fish real quick, and if it doesn't happen quickly, then it, uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's not our day, because the thing is, I got a concert to make. Devin and I are going to see All That Remains and Lacuna Coil this evening with Bad Omens and a couple other bands that we're already going to be missing out on because of our arrival time. But hey, let's let's get back to this rod and reel thing. Let's check it out. Bandito Bugs, Slim Shakes. Let's go. Okay, first ever cast. I'm going to put the brakes on three because I don't trust this wind and let's see what happens. I know you hear it. Sweet. All right, first time using it. The uh, the tension is a little loose. See how it's dropping extremely fast? I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit. And uh, you want it? Okay, that's too much. Now it's not dropping at all and the spool is open. There it goes, dropping slow. That's better for really windy conditions or if you're just getting used to using a bait caster. So that's what I'm gonna leave it at right there. Let's give it a toss. Oh, much better, much better. Didn't even have to thumb it when it hit the water with those settings right there. Once you tighten that tension up a little bit, it's just a dream. Give this to a rookie, they will have no problemo. Check my drag, make sure that's tight. It's pretty good, it's locked down pretty tight. Should be good for any fish that comes out of this pond. They're usually one to three pounds, so we'll just leave it there until we get the first fish on if we get anything. I got a good one for you guys. Let's go cast into the wind. Okay, so on this side, the, the wind is blowing right at us. You can see in the water, the wind's blowing right at us. I've got the brakes on three. I'm gonna even take it down to two. That way you get a good idea of how this thing works in the wind. Uh, I'm just gonna cast it and see what happens straight into the wind. Didn't even stop it when it hit the water. Nuts, right? Freaking nuts. Running cast into the wind. Still doesn't screw nothing up. Little, little loose on the spool, so we'll just fix that. That's okay. Crazy real, man. Absolutely crazy real. Wow, is it windy. Where is this bite, y'all? I just want to get one fish for this video. I'm hoping we can make it happen. Look at this roaring wind. This wind is like, this wind is blowing straight into it. Watch, straight into it. Oh, lightning in the background too. Wow, this reel is nuts. Casting right into the wind. I think I've got a quarter ounce weight in here, but still to get no backlash, even a slight one is pretty sick. I think it's about to start raining on me. We're probably gonna have to call this pretty quick. So I need a fish to bite, like right now. Two casts so good. Like two gets me, two gets me a great distance and yet it's controlling the brakes. I'm, I'm liking this thing dudes. First impressions are this thing is off the chain. I would go ahead and just pick up two or three I'm gonna link these things down in the description, man. I might have to grab a couple more. This thing is dope right here. 
<laughs> Let's hop up here, cast one out deep and see what happens. Way out there. <gasps> Got him. Drag's not set though. Oh wow. Drag wasn't tight enough. When I set it, it slipped. Oh, I set the hook and it slipped. I cannot believe that. I couldn't keep the line tight and that's why we didn't bring that fish home. Rookie mistake, you always gotta check your drag on these reels, and we did, but I thought it was tight enough. Turns out we were wrong. Rookie mistake. Dudes, I literally like hit the bank on the other side. God, this thing cast far. My uh, line just snapped. Okay guys, so what just happened? <laughs> what just happened is I was trying to like pop it out of what I thought was grass, and I realized now it was a turtle, because it just bit the line and snapped it off. And, uh, I need to grab it. The I, I can still see the hook and worm because I kind of popped it. I didn't bring anything with me as far as tools. I don't have any pliers or scissors to cut this line. And then I'm gonna tie this knot and it's gonna have some excess, but none of that really matters. Okay, there we go. And I'm no good at cutting line with my teeth like some of you guys might be. So basically I'm just gonna have a bunch of junk on the end of this. We don't care. Wow. Great distance for being a completely weedless worm, and yet we didn't get a backlash. All right, this is gonna be my last retrieve because I gotta go. Oh, and we've got bites. He's on. Oh my gosh, no way. First catch on the new reel, <gasps> and he came off. He came off. You've got to be joking. Okay, you know what? I said last cast. I think we're gonna make a last, last cast. What happened is there was some slack in there. Um, I think I set the hook almost too hard and, and it made him fly up out of the water. When that happened, when he flew up out of the water, he gained some speed on me and um, created some slack in the line. When they're slack in the line and they're shaking like he, like he was in the air, that's when they have a good chance of coming off. That's why you got to keep that line tight uh, and we just weren't able to do that in that scenario. So why? All right, time to run. That's a bummer. We're not able to land one before the storm, but nevertheless, we got a concert to go see. I got to get out of here. It's time to split. We are on our way to the crib. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing slash first impressions of the SLX DC 151XG. Go pick you one of these babies up. The thing is sick. And I'm going to get that full review on the way very soon. Until then, you guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <gasps>